In this video, we are going to talk about image filter. This property is useful when you want to apply filters on raster images. This class has many constructors. We will discuss about each one in this tutorial. If you want to apply blur, then you can use image filter dot blur constructor. But wait, you might be thinking why Flutter team has created image filter dot blur when they already have mask filter. If you are not aware of mask filter, then you should first watch mask filter video. Actually, mask filter gets applied on a shape before it is converted into an image. Mask filter is ideal for shapes which we create using canvas APIs like draw rect, oval, etc. Here we need to pass sigma x, y, and also tile mode. Here we are going to pass sigma x 10, sigma y also 10, and we are going to pass tile mode, tile mode dot decal. Right? As you can see, we have successfully applied blur effect. If you want to dilate your image, then you can use dilate constructor. If you are not aware of what is dilate, it's basically a way to enlarge image. Similarly, we have erode constructor. This is used to shrink image. For more info, you can refer Wikipedia. I will provide supporting links in the description. Both of these constructors take radius X and Y to create an oval. Internally, it will pick up a pixel and replace it with the maximum value of a pixel present inside the oval in case of dilate. In case of erode, with the minimum value. Once pixel is replaced, it will move to the next pixel and the process goes on. Here we are going to pass 10 for both X and Y. As you can see, we have successfully applied erode filter. If you want to combine two filters, then you can use compose constructor. Let me quickly fill up the values, then I will explain you how this constructor work. This will first apply the inner filter on the layer to which we are going to pass this instance of paint. Then outer filter on the layer generated by the inner filter. Let me refresh to show you the result. As you can see, it first applied the dilate, then it applied blur filter. The last constructor we are going to talk about is matrix. This helps us to apply transformation, also allows us to control image sampling. To this constructor, we need to pass float64 list, which is basically the conversion of matrix for transformation and filter quality. This one is optional but we will explore this. To see filter in action, we are going to first shrink canvas. So we are going to divide it by 12. And also, we are going to scale the image by 12. And we need to use storage to extract the float64 list. And here we are going to use filter, filter quality dot none. As you can see, it is bit pixelated. So we can increase the samples by using high here. As you can see, it's now bit smooth. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to learn more about custom paint and flutter advance, you can subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.